Welcome back, Nerd Squad. My name is Roya Destroya, and this is Top 10 Nerd. Oliver Queen, better known as Green Arrow, debuted in More Fun Comics number 73. His character pulled inspiration from Robin Hood as well as the novel The Green Archer, plus a little sprinkle of Batman characteristics for good measure. So let's take a look at the top 10 alternate versions of Green Arrow. spot we have Deadeye. In the antimatter universe, there exists a different version of the Emerald Archer known as Deadeye, and he isn't how we remember Ollie to be. He was an evil counterpart of Green Arrow, who was a member of the supervillain crew known as Shadow Force. The crew originated from the planet Quard and had banded together with the goal of becoming wealthy. Maybe if he had just stayed Oliver Queen Green Arrow, he would have made the money that came with it. Coming in at number 9 is Longbow Green Arrow. Elseworlds League of Justice was written with inspiration from the Lord of the Rings. In the short lived series, there is a version of of our hero, a wizard known as Longbow Green Arrow, and he features an uncanny resemblance to Gandalf, if Gandalf were to become an esteemed archer. And of course with his defender of the poor, enemy of the oppressor attitude, he obviously pulls inspiration from the well known Robin Hood as well. Next in number 8 we got Dark Knight Arrow. Green Arrow resurfaces in Frank Miller's Batman series. In a world where superheroes are outlawed by the government, he turns to terrorism to stop the oppression, but loses his arm somewhere in the process, alluding to it being Superman's fault. Luckily enough he is still a competent archer by using Using his mouth, and eventually is recruited by Batman to help him take down Superman. A plan he would give an arm and a leg to carry out. Maybe just an arm. In the number 7 spot is Goliath. The Amalgam Universe crosses DC's Green Arrow with Marvel's Hawkeye turns Goliath to get a superhero still known as Goliath but with the alias of Oliver Queen. I think Green Goliath would have been appropriate here maybe, just an idea guys. He is gifted with the ability to grow in size as well as superhuman strength. In this universe he is caught in a love triangle with both he and Hawkeye vying for the attention of Canary. A relationship that nods to Green Arrow's love of Black Canary and Goliath's love of Mockingbird. Coming in at Number 6 we have Flashpoint Arrow. During the Flashpoint event, Oliver Queen heads the Green Arrow Industries, a company that repurposes supervillain tech for military use. He also leads an army of Green Arrows, whom he comes across as murdered one day, including Roy Harper. Not too pleased at that, he takes it upon himself to hunt down the person that did it, and this brings him face to face with his own daughter, whom he had after his affair with Vixen. That's one family who probably will not be doing holidays anymore. Next up at Number 5 is Holy Terror Oliver. In another Elseworlds creation, Batman Holy Terror, in fact the first one to bear the Elseworlds logo, we have a version of Green Arrow who, although minor, was in fact quite the opposite of Holy. Though he is only mentioned in passing, he leaves an impression on us because he was executed by hanging. For what reason? Because he was found guilty of supporting underground Jewish pornography. Now we know what he did with all that money. Up next to number 4 is Nail Arrow. The Oliver Queen from JLA the Nail miniseries has grown bitter over the years, in part because of his paraplegic status. Having lost an arm an eye and the use of his legs. He got this way after a fight with Amazo, and now holds the belief that all of the Justice League are aliens plotting against the human race. Way to turn your back Ollie. His brain is later transplanted into Amazo's body where he is given a last chance for redemption. In the number 3 spot we have Kingdom Come Arrow. In a storyline that highlights the frustrations between the next gen of irresponsible heroes and the old traditional veterans, Oliver Queen is Batman's trusted lieutenant and is responsible for recruiting some of the younger heroes away from Superman's army and onto Batman's side. Here he has also settled down with Black Canary and the two of them have a daughter named Olivia Queen, who takes up the mantle as the new Black Canary. Coming in at number 2 is Injustice Arrow. In the prequel comic to the video game Injustice Gods Among Us, Green Arrow is among the heroes that joins Batman's forces against Superman's really harsh regime. In this storyline he becomes very close to Harley Quinn after saving her, becoming her shoulder to lean on after Superman kills the Joker. He is a noble man who takes a stand against needless suffering and execution, or as he tells Harley, saving his friend from what he's afraid he may do. And finally in the number 1 spot we've got Longbow Hunter. Mike Grell's Green Arrow the Longbow Hunter was a 3 issue prestige aimed at a mature audience, which took Green Arrow out of mainstream continuity and gave him a revamped image. In this version he's gifted a new costume and trades the trick arrows for more traditional archery. He was Ollie Queen moved from Star City to Seattle to be with his girlfriend Black Canary. The story follows him as he tracks down a serial killer, drug runners and saves Canary from torture. Just routine stuff in the life of a superhero. So those were the top 10 alternate versions of the Green Arrow. Let me know in the comment section down below who you want alternate versions of next. My name is Rory Destroya. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe so you never miss another nerdy list.